Well, hello everybody. My name is Joe, and I am glad to be back on YouTube. This is a long-awaited tutorial, and uh, it's a tutorial that has been requested quite a few times. Uh, this is kind of an extension on how to find your Wi-Fi password that I posted two years ago. Uh, this is how to change or create a Wi-Fi password. It's uh, really quite simple. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, all you need is a internet an internet browser. I'll be using Chrome. You can use any internet browser you want. Open it up, and what we're going to do, we're going to type into the address bar uh, 192.168.1.1. Now, this is a pretty standard uh, IP address for a number of different routers. If this is not your specific IP address for your router, meaning when you type this in and you press enter, it doesn't, your computer doesn't do what my computer does, then all you're going to need to do is a little bit of research. You go on Google, type in IP address for insert router name here. I know that this is the IP address for my router, and it's probably the IP address for your router as well. So once I type in 192.168.1.1, all I do is press enter and it will give me an authentication pop-up. And now you're like, oh no, what do I do in your British accents? Well, it's quite simple. Again, you remember how I said that most of the IP address is 192.168.1.1? Most of the usernames are going to be admin. Most of the passwords are going to be password. That is the default username and password for many routers. Uh, again, if you come up to this page and admin and password does not work, go on Google, do a little bit of research, type in you know, username and password for insert router name here. Alternatively, you could also check the bottom of your router. Sometimes it's listed on the router itself. So if admin and password does not work for your username and password respectively, then you will just have to do a little bit of research. Once you've typed in admin and password, hit login. And here is your uh, portal. Mine is a Netgear router, so I have Netgear Genie, uh, firmware version, etc., etc. From here, yours may look different, but don't be afraid. It is generally the same. All you're going to want to do is navigate to where you find your wireless properties. My wireless properties are under this tab called wireless. Leave everything the same. Don't touch anything. And here is your passphrase. I have typed in pet test password because I don't know how this internet stuff works and I don't know what can happen if you know my actual password. So I typed in test password. But from here, all you have to do is delete whatever password you want or sometimes you can create one. You can type in something here. I'm going to type in Bill Cosby. That's going to be my password. Now be aware that this is case sensitive. So you will want to write this down with capitalization and keep it somewhere safe that way we don't have to try to find your wi-fi password again but if you do need to find it here is a video i will put a link right here yeah check that out <laughs> hint hint product placement anyways once you've typed in your new password all you have to do is apply and i'm not going to do it because then it's going to shut off my internet and it's going to restart but once you click apply then all you will simply need to do is re-log into your Wi-Fi using your new password, and there you go. You are set. So, if you have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Uh, if you do have a question, please make it clear as possible what your question actually is. Don't be like, hey, I don't know how to do this, because then I will just simply ignore you. Anyways, that has been all for today. Um, be sure to subscribe, like this video, check out my other videos, and I invite you to check out my band. We have a SoundCloud. We're not very good, but we are called the Nig Futons. I promise it's not racist. And if SoundCloud would open, I would show you, but it's not. Anyways... You can go to soundcloud.com forward slash. Oh, there we go. V hyphen nig hyphen footins. And you will find 
my crappy generic music. So, thanks for watching. Check it out. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like this, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. I am peacing out.